This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Caradimos. Today we're going to take a look at how to add polynomials. Uh, so we're going to start off by writing a couple down. So here's our first problem. We're going to take 5x squared plus 3x minus 2. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it to another polynomial, which is 4x squared minus 7x plus 9. Now normally when we see these problems they are separated with parentheses. This would be very typical in math textbooks. And uh, the format is usually similar to what we see here. <clears throat> and we'll notice, or you should notice here, that these problems have been separated, or this problem has been, I should say, laid out in a horizontal fashion. So that means it's all kind of written off to the right. So what we're going to do is take a look at how this problem would look if we did it vertically. <clears throat> so this should have a different feel to it. In a matter of fact, it should be a little bit easier to accomplish once it's in a vertical format. All right, to do this vertical format, we're going to take this polynomial over here, and we are going to rewrite it underneath the first polynomial. When we do this, we are going to rewrite it so that like terms are going to align. So I'm going to put the 4x squared underneath the squared term. I'm going to put the minus 7x underneath the x term and the 9 underneath the constant term. Now normally this is what students do in algebra. They line up like terms when they have to combine expressions and we're not going to do it anything in any way differently. So we're going to add these two together, and we are going to get 9x squared. Let's see, 3 and negative 7 makes negative 4. So you'll notice I'm just adding the coefficients, or in other words, the numbers in front of the letters. Well, these two don't have any letters. We're just going to add them. So 9 and negative 2 makes 7. And there you go. So that is the solution to that problem. All right, so let's check out another problem. Uh, we've got a couple problems. Sometimes it's nice to see a few. Uh, as a matter of fact, the second problem will demonstrate a difficulty that usually students have. Uh, let's say we have a polynomial that is a cubic. We start off with the third degree, minus 2x plus 1. And to that, we're going to add the polynomial 6x squared. It's a quadratic minus 3x plus 2. Again, these are usually written out with parentheses. All right, now you have to be really careful with this. Now, uh, the problem with this, uh, and the reason why I'm, I'm kind of demonstrating the fact that there should be some care taken, is because the uh, first polynomial has some degrees that skip. You'll notice here it starts off as a cube and then it goes down to the first power, okay? And then you have your constant term. So it looks like we skipped past third power and we went all the way to the first power. So what I want to do to really make sure I understand this problem is I'm going to rewrite the first one and I'm going to leave some space. So really this is going to be a 7x cubed. Leave some space for the square. plus 1. Okay, so I'm leaving some space so that, as you'll see in a second, why I have to do that. And again, I'm going to take the second polynomial and I'm going to rewrite it underneath the first. So let's see, where does the 6x squared go? Well, it's not going to go underneath the cube. It's not going to go underneath the x. It goes underneath where the squared would be if there was a squared in this problem. So it's going to go right here minus 3x plus 2. So now everything's all written, all aligned very carefully. As a matter of fact, what some students like to do is insert a placeholder. They'll say that for our first polynomial there was no x squareds. There was zero x squareds to that problem. Alright, so once you do that, once you align everything, you're very careful on that you know, portion or that type of problem, you're now going to 
uh, add like terms. So 7 plus nothing is 7. We have 7x cubes. 0 plus 6 is 6 x squared. Let's see, minus 2 and minus 3, that makes a minus 5. And then 1 plus 2 makes 3. And that's our solution. So just be care, or I should say, make sure you do practice care in lining up like terms, inserting placeholders if necessary, and you shouldn't have any trouble with adding polynomials. All right, so make sure you go back to mathguide.com. We have several interactive quizzes, we have several lessons, and we have other videos. Take care.